Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to bring back the Magis Module Manager download section using the Fox app. So, for the unaware, a, a couple of years back, the official Magisk app used to have a download section from wherein you could easily download and install the modules onto your phone. There was no need to go anywhere else, simply go to the download section grab hold of the module from the XTA or the GitHub page and install it. For example, I might be having a screenshot. So the screenshot on the left, as you could see, this is the download section of the modules. You just have to hit the download icon and flash it onto your phone and it will be installed. However, with the new update, as you could see on the right, you now only have the installed module and you could only install new module from the storage. So now you have to go to the module section, download a module from a third party site such as GitHub or XTA and then install the module from storage the official magisk app no longer has the option to download the modules within itself but thanks to the fox magisk manager module you could now easily download and install the module using this app and you, you don't have to go to github or xc and, and look out for individual modules it is a repository of all the modules all under one roof there are a few kpis and drawbacks of this app as well I'll show you that as well. So, with that said, let's get started. So, first and foremost, there's an important point worth discussion. So, re recently, the official the app was earlier managed by Fox Magic Module Manager, has now been acquired by Android DC, but that's not a cause of concern because still it's an open source app. So, this was the earlier version on GitHub, as you see from here. And as they are saying, this repository has been archived by the owner and it's now read only. And it has now been acquired by Android AC, and you could grab hold of their module from here, Android AC, and th they are the new owner of this repo, as you can see from here. And it's again completely open source. However, since they want to keep their architecture running, and for from the revenue point of view, they are running ads on their site. That's completely understandable from a publisher point of view. I also run ads on my website as well as on my youtube channel so for the sake of that they are running ads so you might view ads not on the github page and not on the app the ads will be there on the downloads page of the modules so when you go to the download page of the module you might view one or two ads and you might also have to wait for 9 to 10 seconds before the download link appears this might get infu infuriating and quite troublesome for some of you but as of now it's their only source of income and that is why they are using ads and they have also listed the apps over here as well even i don't like any ads and i am not justifying but since we have to run our database and cover all this cost the ads are a must for us with that said you could also join the membership and remove all the ads and you could also then skip the waiting time so with that in mind let's get started first and foremost it goes without saying that your phone should be rooted by a magic that's quite obvious so you could refer to my guide and make sure to root your phone in general, you have to extract the boot IMG from the firmware which is currently installed onto your phone. Then pass the boot IMG via magic and flash it via firewood commands. I have made a guide on the same. You could refer to my guide. I will link the guide in the description. So refer to my guide and root your phone. Once you have done the root, as of now, you could see this is the magic app. And as of now, I am having three installed modules as you could see from here. So with that said, let's now install the Fox Magisk module manager and let me show you the steps. So, this is the new link. You could go to the GitHub page. So, this is the GitHub page. Go to the GitHub page, and you cannot download the APK from here. If you want to download the APK, you could. You have to go to the release section, and from the release section, you could only get the source code. So now you have to go to, to their website. So let me open the site on my phone as well because you will be able to view the ads, and I could show you the, the ads that they are having, and then you could decide accordingly so on my phone there is no ad blocker installed whereas on my pc i have an ad blocker so on my pc you will not view any ads but on my phone as you could see these are the ads so scroll down and download the box magic manager apk corresponding to the architecture in my case the architecture is arm64 you could verify the same using any cpu architecture app from play store so download the apk from here and once you have done the download so let me show you, you might get again an ad and you might have to wait for 10 seconds in some cases. So download the file from here 
and once you have run the download, you could simply install it as any normal APK file. So tap on install and the app will now be installed onto your phone. Once then tap on open and you will now get the magic request. So tap on grant. So it has now got the magic prompt. And this is the first time setup. So regarding the re repository, as of now there are two repo. The first one is the official Android AC repo. This is Android AC, the same developer which is now maintaining the entire app. So it's a trusted review, trusted repo, but it's uh, somewhat strict in criteria. It verifies all the modules and only then allows the one which is safe. On the other hand, the Magis Alt repo, in that the limitations are somewhat less. So some unofficial modules you might also be able to get. So if you are not able to find a module in the Android AC, you might get that module in the Magis Alt repo. But that repo is somewhat risky than the original, and there could be a cause of concern as well. So if you want to take my opinion, I would recommend you to keep it disabled and only enable the Android AC repo. Apart from that, leave everything as it is, and then agree to the terms and condition and hit the finish button. So hit the finish button and it's now asking for notification. You could tap on anything. So it will now load for a few seconds. And as of now, you could see it's showing as the app, the modules which are installed and the module which could be updated from here. And this is the option to install the module from your phone. As you could see, install from storage. Likewise, the major asset of this module is in the online section. From here, you could get hold of all the modules you want. So let's me search for a module which is quite easy to install and could be installed on my oneplus phone so just a minute so let's try out the full screen immersive gesture so as you could see the white pill at the bottom it should remove that pill so i am just using this module for the sake of reference you could use any module all you have to do is tap on install from here and once you tap on install you will be taken to the module page and then you might view a few ads Likewise, it will show all the information, the web link, the price, it's free, all the modules are free near about, the support page, the virus scan, and as you could see, we have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has just tap on install, and the mo module will be downloaded. I have already done the download, so let me still show you. So hit the install button, and now you will have to wait for around 10 seconds. You could keep a track at the top progress bar. And it might take up to 10 seconds for the file to start downloading. And once that is done, the downloading speed will depend on the network speed. So in my case, as you could see, I've already done the download. So once you have downloaded the file, there are two approaches that you could take. So first off, you could launch the Fox Magis Module Manager app, tap on Install from Storage, and then select that module. Choose the module, it will be flashed. Or the second approach is you could take is go to the download section and from here simply select the module and then choose the Fox Magis Mod Manager and choose just once. So let's take the generic approach and let me launch the Fox app and I will install the module from here. So tap on install from storage and let's choose that module and it will now start flashing. So the module is asking, let's choose for the full screen via volume up. And high sensitivity volume down, okay. And enable Gcam fix, yes. Disable the back, just say no. So the module has now been flashed. And once you have flashed the module, just tap on reboot and then tap on OK. And with this, your phone will now reboot to the OS and it will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame. So, as you might have seen, there is a 10 second delay in most of the modules while you are downloading. And you also get ads that is a drawback of this app as opposed to the earlier times when we did not had any ad any ads in the magic report download section but since we don't have any other options so you could either become their member or wait for 10 seconds before downloading the modules with that said let's now verify the results i have just flashed the modules using the box magic module manager and our phone should now boot to the os you could flash this module, the Fox Magis module across all the custom ROM as well as the stock firmware. Currently, I'm using an Evolution X ROM, but that's not a cause of concern. You could flash it across all the modules and carry out the task. So let's just wait for a time frame. Do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up 
some additional time frame after flashing a module that's not an issue so let me now unlock my phone and as you could see the white navigation bar has been disappeared from the bottom and we now have the complete immersive ui experience as you could see from here thanks to the module so let's now launch as you could see you might also get a notification that there is an update available you if you want you could turn off these updates as well so let me show you let's bring up the fox icon to the home screen and now launch the fox magic module so as you could see we now have the full screen immersive gesture under the install section and under online as i've shown you you can install all the app from here then if you go to the settings icon from here there are quite a few options the first one is the manage repo the official repo is the android repo likewise you could also add the magic alt repo which is, has some less limitation but might prove to be risky then apart from here you could upgrade to the premium version and then you will not get any ads and you don't have to wait for the downloads as well so these are some of the tweaks then let's go back and under the settings menu there are a few other options as well so uh, for example the automatic modules update check you could turn this off check for app updates you could turn this off as well and you will no longer get notifications over here then check only wi-fi the theme language and blur dark terminal options and there are a few other tweaks so you could easily install all the apps modules that you want from this section as well so you might ask what is the so the major benefit of this module over magic is that you could easily scroll and find all the modules directly from here you don't have to go online and check individual modules if you know the name of a module then you could directly download from github but if you are just searching for modules then you could easily do so from here and check out the desired module as opposed to the magic app which no longer has the downloads option on the flip side though the major drawback of this app is that it has ads which is not the case with all the other modules for example if we look out for the app known as ls pose it's the expose framework then it also has the option to download the modules directly from the app itself so for example if i use the always theme icons and then go to the release section i could download the apk file directly from here there is no apps no ads anywhere this is because all the apks and mods are hosted directly on the github when it comes to ls post or ls patch but in case of the post magic module manager they haven't hosted any mods on github because they have to show ads and that is why they have placed all the modules on their official website from where you could download the modules i from the user point of view it might prove to be quite a troublesome and infuriating experience but from a developer point of view there are this is their only source of income so you might have to deal with it if you want to use this app or if you don't want to use this app then you could take the longer approach get hold of the module name from here and then check out the module from the github if available you could download the module from there as well so guys on that note i round off this video but before that let me show you how to remove or uninstall a module so if you just want to disable a module then just turn off the toggle next to module and make sure to restart your phone once once you restart your phone the module will be disabled then you could when required easily re enable the module and do a restart and the module will be up and running as well on the other hand if you want to uninstall a module then let me show you that just tap on the uninstall icon and now you have to restart your phone so as you could see currently the bin icon has been decolored if if the module is not installed it's colored currently it's decolored so once tap on uninstall and now let me restart my phone once and upon the restart the module will be gone and you will see the white navigation bar pill at the bottom of my phone so let me show that as well and once that is done the final step will be how to uninstall the fox magic module manager app and i will also share my opinion on this so let's just wait for the phone to boot up and then we could proceed ahead with the next step so in the meantime i have also linked this guide in the description you could refer to my guide and make sure not to check out this section because it's been depreciated and it's now moved over to the android ic page so you could refer to this page and you don't have any choice but to go to their website to download the module from there so in the meantime let's wait for the time frame our phone is booting up i am not showing you this on my laptop because on my laptop i have the ad blocker installed and you will not be able, able to view any ads or the 
great time frame i want to show the exact ui ux experience that is why i am showing you this on my phone all the ads and the download wait time that you could get so let me now unlock and as you could see i've got back the white navigation bar pill and in the app as well the module is now gone from here so with that said the final course of action is if you want to uninstall the fox module then it's quite simple all you have to do is simply uninstall the module just as you uninstall any normal apk file so long press on the app icon or let's take a universal approach go to the settings menu go to apps go to see all apps and from here you should see the box magic module manager tap on uninstall and tap on ok and with this the app is now gone i would recommend you to restart your phone once and upon a restart the app is now gone so you might also ask one more thing that what's the use of the fox app you could also splash the module directly from your magisk app as well the major purpose of the fox magisk module is not regarding the flashing of module it's just that it makes the searching of all the modules quite easy it holds all the module under one roof so you don't have to go to xda f wide or github and search for the module you could easily get all the modules under one roof while flashing is concerned you could easily flash the module from this as well so as of now i had downloaded the module as i have shown you the module was let me show you which i just downloaded it was named as full screen gesture so i could easily flash the module using magisk as well the flashing is same across both so that's nothing to worry about let me show you once so the major purpose of the module of fox is not to flash the module but it's just to give you a complete ui from where you could grab hold of all the modules and get the job done on the flip side though it has quite a lot of ads and you might have to wait 10 seconds before downloading every or any app so that is quite infuriating so in my case i usually don't use that app just because of ads i know ads are the only source of income but still every time i want to download a module i don't view the ads because it's quite troublesome for me rather i either go to the github page first i search for on google and go to the github page and most of the modules are there on github if they are not there on github then i download the module from ls post and mostly i could find the module from ls post look i am not against the ads by any means because i also earn using ads only but having to view ads after every module page is also quite understandable up to an extent but waiting for 10 seconds before downloading every apk is beyond my you could say persistence level so it's quite difficult for me and challenging for me to wait for 10 seconds before getting every download link so in my case i am usually don't refer to this app at the very most what i do is check out the app name and the description and then i download the app from github but the ultimate choice is all all yours you could use the ls post app you could use the magisk github page or you could use the fox app if you are looking for fox then you could refer to my guide and get this job done so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching